With Black Friday around the corner, every business is looking for new ways to market its product and services. After all, Black Friday is that part of the year when you can easily boost your sales and increase your profit. The Black Friday is a day when retailers offer deep discount on items to kick off the holiday shopping season. Now, people love shopping on this day because of the slashed price of the products bought at e-commerce stores as well as brick and mortar stores. If you're looking for marketing strategies for the upcoming Black Friday and beyond, then stick around as we will talk about how retailers can harness digital marketing for massive sales. Welcome to Business Insights on PLUS TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Now, first off, addressing the level of impact a continent like Africa has had on the globe remains a point of discussion that can never be overemphasized. This is just as the continent today is being faced by continuous increase in inflation. This next report focuses on Africa's economic growth. Take a look. Africa has constantly experienced numerous ups and downs in the area of economy, and so it resulted in several crushing of the economy. Nigeria, as a country on the western part of Africa, considered the giant of continent, has experienced more in the area of economic inflation, looking at the relationship between the dollar and the naira. Following the pandemic-induced recession in 2020, Africa's economic growth recovered, but macroeconomic stability weakened. Amidst global commodity shocks, a depreciating currency, trade restrictions, and monetization of the deficit, Inflation is surging and pushing millions of Nigerians into poverty. Everybody knows that the problem in, in business in Nigeria today is that um, most businesses are saturated. The community, the, the economy is not friendly. The policies are not friendly to business owners. It's not easy to sustain a business in Nigeria for more than five to seven years. And when we hear ideas from other countries and how they are doing it and how they are making it right, we hope it will also help us to also do it right in Nigeria. Looking at the statistics, generally in the world there has been a uh, an increase in inflation generally, which has affected the uh, price of commodities, and uh, so it's a global thing. Finding a lasting solution to the downward trend in Nigeria's economy all lies with the leadership. As many have said, with the forthcoming elections, one will say that once the right mandate a leader steps in, the economy can experience a turnaround for the best. Nobody can deny they don't know what is going on in Nigeria. The economy is not in any good shape. I mean, uh, and this lack of uh, good leadership, for, uh, to say the least. Uh, a lot of inflation going on. Uh, and things are a bit difficult for everyday Nigerians. Uh, economy is connected to politics, so uh, as much as we get our politics right, we can as well get our economy right. Nigeria is a great country, but it's just our bad leadership that puts us where we are. And the way forward is... Um patriotic leadership and sincere leadership. When people are patriotic and sincere in what they do, then definitely there is going to be what progress in whatever they do. While the economy is projected to grow at an average of 3.2 percent between 2022 to 2024, inequality in terms of income and opportunities remains high and has adversely affected poverty reduction as the lack of job opportunities is at the core of high poverty levels, regional inequality and social and political unrest. Welcome back now. So let's get started. In the past, there was the brick and mortar approach through which retailers reached success by giving people a reason to visit the shop. This strategy was effective in attracting more visitors and increasing the conversion rate. The clients typically stayed longer, bought more goods and spent more money. Then the COVID-19 pandemic began and the crisis became the new competitor. Retailers reacted and while some succeeded, many failed. Now they discovered the solution against the crisis, the right way to boost the sales during a pandemic a proper digital marketing strategy. Joining me right now is Samson or Lajende, digital entrepreneur. He is the founder of Knowledge Digest Africa. Thanks for joining us on Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it is indeed our pleasure. Now, in my intro, I said that before now, it used to be the brick and mortar, but people usually go just to the shop directly to get whatever they need. But now, since COVID-19, a lot of people are actually trading 
online and uh, you know the returns have been massive. But my first question would be Black Friday, Black Friday, Black <laughs> Friday. Everyone is talking about Black Friday, November like this. It's always Black Friday. And people want to make massive sales. If you were to advise a retailer, what should they be focusing right now? So uh, first, thank you for having me to come and to share on this platform. I think the uh, Black Friday is an interesting one because many things do happen during Black Friday. So for me as a digital entrepreneur and um, a, a, a business strategy, I would say that people should focus on um, items that they really want. They really want to buy to focus on buying those kind of items in period like this. Uh, you know what is happening the economy the dollar keep going up so like there's a likelihood that even when you get to january february you're going to have this to go up more if nothing is done in the country to try to uh, work against the dollar going up so i would suggest that you think about certain things when you want to buy into uh, black friday for instance you think about what we call fire sales you know how do i take advantage of product that is extremely expensive but it's going at different rates in a lower way okay. how can i buy more of it so if i'm thinking about like a business person i'll think about buying more of it because i know that there's a probably that is it jacks up mm. and i can make more profit if i want to resell that in my own retail store mm. or in my own uh, kiosk shop or whatever platform you want to use to market it so mm. for instance talking about furniture so I can decide, let's assume I want to do it in terms of like doing it in business and I want to reach out to real estate guys. So what I can do is buy in bulk uh, because there's what we call Black Friday happening, which is extremely like 50% discount, 25% mm. discount, buy in bulk. But again, I must have done what we call upselling, mm. upselling in a way that I will make sure that I'm talking to my clientele that are into the real estate space, for instance, that okay. are looking for interiors to buy because many of them may not think in that direction mm. but i'm a business person so i'll buy in bulk and then look for a way to upsell so i can say you know what i can give you this product for maybe a uh, hundred thousand dollars or hundred thousand naira, but pay me 20 percent of it and then when i supply you you will pay me the rest whereas i know where i can get it cheaper and i've mm. taken advantage of the black friday mm -hmm. so we call it upselling whereby you upsell somebody to pay part of the money but you drop more of the money to get access from the black market opportunity uh, black, black friday, friday rather, yes. opportunity and then you can go back and sell to people so you have to think about the fire sales that is happening you have to think about upselling um so even you that desire to get into the black friday maybe you want to sell yeah, I was, I was going to say that, that because uh, okay. because you have been focusing more uh, on the consumer side per se. Yeah. Uh, as a retailer, as a seller, you know specifically, now I really want to make the most of it. How do I exactly know what to sell? Because in my head, I'm thinking that um, if I'm giving out um, discount or slashed sales and uh, you know. Uh, various uh, competitive rate, uh, I might be losing money per se in my head. Mm -hmm. How does that really work? So for me, I, I would say that if you're doing Black Friday, you, you have to introduce certain marketing strategy in place. Mm -hmm. So if I have products, maybe I have it in bulk and I want to sell it and I want to use Black, Black Friday as a medium to, to sell this massively, I would think about what I call affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. So I get people to say, you know what, if you're going to you know, affiliate marketing is like you getting to give somebody commission to talk mm -hmm. more about your product. So I can say, you know what, if you can reach out to more people to take advantage of this and you use your URL and people go through your URL to buy from my store mm -hmm. based on this Black Friday, you get 10%, 20% discount. Okay. So what that means is I'm going to have what we call viral marketing because I would have created links that you can always create your own link to promote my product or create your own pages or blog to promote my product in exchange for the commission you want to get from me, which is okay. affiliate marketing. Mm. So, and then if I want to make more sales, I'll say I'm going to give you 50%. Mm. You know, that's crazy. So, m for me, who is the seller? I must have looked at my major course, look at my turnover okay. when I do volume and mm. what I'm going to get back. So, for me, introducing affiliate marketing, what I'm simply doing is getting more people to be my salesmanship to project massively this my product mm -hmm. from whatever platform I'm using to sell it. That's mm. affiliate marketing. I can think of using what we call content marketing. Okay, what does that mean? So, for, for me, using content marketing means that I begin to talk about. Uh, uh, experiences opportunities testimonials of people so it's gonna be like a storytelling mm. but engaging my stories storytelling with what we call a signature okay. whereby you are ending the conversation to say okay 
I'm giving only 10 slots to people. Always have limited numbers you are giving to people so that you can have massive people to rush into that opportunity. So I can give an instance, uh, for instance, give an example of me trying to sell this product. 20 people have used it. Maybe I'm selling um, beauty products. I said 20 people have used it. Share their testimony. Show the inside before and after. And then give like 10 slots and say, okay, it's going to close midnight or so-so time. What happens is that everybody wants to get into my funnel. Mm. What I've used is called content marketing. Mm -hmm. Using that as a way to also influence people with storytelling. Mm -hmm. So you can decide to use that method but if you're using what we call a storytelling kind of campaign it means that you have to tie it around testimonials okay. you have to even use an influencer if you want to go for that get an influencer to hold your product mm -hmm. and then begin to talk about it not you even talking about right. it and then that give an insight so right. we can keep going okay. about different marketing okay. medium we can use yes that's so several <laughs> and um you know we'll take it blow by blow uh, approach because for instance now i talked about um, how people would ordinarily go to the brick and mortar stores to get their whatever they need but now people are doing so more more online these days for instance now let's just uh, paint a scenario right now we're talking about digital marketing how we can harness that to get um, better sales i don't have a shop mm. um, and I, I and i know i'm very good at selling i have a passion for selling and um, i know that i could i actually have um, a bit of um, the goodwill i could get some um, goods from uh a particular maybe manufacturer or wholesaler and I want to pass him now at the retail level how do I go about that using digital approach so I, I, I'll give like three approaches to this I mean it's still gonna be around you understanding what to do first yeah. why can't you decide to set up a blog for yourself okay. or leverage on blogs of other people mm. to be able to push this which means that many people read what is happening just like we want to know what is happening every day via different newspaper okay. so you can decide to do what we call um hard ad that you see on different newspaper i mean popping up and then you can use that as a trend to be able to even project uh, that product you've collected from someone because you don't even have the product but you want to make sales out of it right so you can decide to do a blog marketing whereby you are leveraging on blogs to write about that product and then people can read it so imagine you thinking about getting your write-up on LinkedIn, KG Bella Ninja, blogs that you know that, okay, relate to your target audience. Okay. So if I'm talking about, I have product around entertainment, I have to look for entertainment, entertainment blog. If I have product that relates to health, I have to look for maybe the first 10 health uh, blogs so that I can use that to leverage and take advantage of their audience because they have traffic. Massive traffic is what I'm, I'm trying to leverage on. And when people see it, they will be able to in returns come and buy from me wherever I'm selling that product on the internet. Number two is for you to think about forums. So okay. you, you know, you, there's, there are online forums, which is like online community of people with the same interest group. So for instance, you have people talking about relationship. There are several forums on relationship. You have, there are several forums on health. There are several forums on sports, on entertainment. So if your product is, for instance, about relationship, about health, about uh things that will help people solutions you are creating then you go to those forums now you sign up uh, as a member of the forum and then you you make yourself available to present yourself like an expert like a solution like somebody who is creating solutions on that particular platform mm -hmm. don't 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 make them know that is your product but begin to give tips you know people begin to recognize your username that you are using to talk about different opportunities different things you can do like they are providing solution and in that as you're providing the solution you will indirectly introduce that oh i think this product will be useful for you you can check this link that link still is your own platform but indirectly you are on the platform speaking like an expert speaking speaking like somebody who saw something from a platform and then recommending it to people on that forum. And just imagine you having 100,000 people on a forum and then you're sharing different tips and you recommend a product indirectly as you're sharing the different tips. Maybe 10%, maybe 20% from people in that forum or that segment. Mm -hmm. We go to that particular website or that platform where you have your product and can make purchase. What you have done indirectly is that you have positioned yourself like a solution provider for indirectly projecting and selling your own product mm -hmm. on that platform. That's forum marketing. And then you can think about what we call social media marketing. Okay. So that means you begin to think about how do I promote this product? I mean, you have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. You have hearts that you can use in 
targeting the right people and you project it that's like the third aspect that we give you have a product or you have collected a product from somewhere and you want to take advantage of the black friday all you have to do is make sure you target the right audience look up at where they are look at the uh, demography that you're looking at and then begin to target your heart mm. so that they can come to that page maybe your social media page maybe your blog where you want them to see that product maybe is that even the page you have created or where they have given you to sell that product on somebody else's mm. platform right okay. all you need to do is make sure that you're getting the right people to come there yeah. and they can take advantage of it i, I will hard the last one by saying do a giveaway mm. so you're selling a product and the product is maybe what um fifty thousand air okay. right and you can say okay if you buy two you can, you can do what we call giveaway if you buy four i give you one free if you buy two i give you one free right mm. or you say you know what i'm going to give the first 20 people to buy from this store what that means is that your 20 people can turn to 100 200 mm. because what you're doing is that you're prompting more people to want to get within that funnel of the, of the 10 20 people okay. and that can give you massive sales during black friday okay. so these are strategies you can always put in place to make more 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 money during black friday okay i'm going to put you a bit of, <laughs> i'm going to put you on the spot a bit and we had talked about um um competition and um, um collaboration you know so something just occurred to me right now as you were just uh, making them um, those explanation for instance uh you know we know the big names when it comes to digital uh, marketing and sales uh you know i don't call all the j's and the k's <laughs> as it were you know because even most of them they don't even have the products themselves they have mm. other retailers who go to them to you know yeah. you know to put on their platform so the, the issue of um, competition and co collaboration still comes to my head right now you know you are not as as big as those uh, names mm. would you rather uh, start on your own and be a competitor or just uh, go with them and collaborate so I think I'm going to just use two in one strategy I mean okay. so there's nothing wrong for you starting but there's beauty for you collaborating because okay. if you collaborate you get more urge mm. you have more visibility mm. you can move faster than you starting alone but mm. that doesn't mean that you should not start okay. so for instance I may I may write that you're just starting up there's nothing wrong for me to look for experts within my field mm. and begin to have interviews with them the way I'm doing. What that means mm. is that their credibility adds to my credibility okay. and gives me an edge in the marketplace. Mm. What I've done is collaboration. Mm. Instead of me going through the routes or beginning to promote individually and begin to create my community, I leverage on their community. I recognize that they are experts in their field. I begin to do what we call broadcast. I begin to think about, you know, how to do interviews for them. Okay. Because when they come on my platform, what that means is that their community sees like, oh, I think what this guy seems, I mean, is a perception management. You know, people begin to say, I think what this guy is doing is right for mm. Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. Series and Influencer to come on his platform. So that's collaboration. So you need to think about more of collaboration than you started alone. So imagine you, you thinking, I say, you want to start Facebook of mm -hmm. your own mm -hmm. give it a name you're mm -hmm. going to struggle the technology you want to use i mean the manpower the resources you don't really have it mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong for you to leverage on the crowd the population the numbers that you have on facebook just mm -hmm. open an account and then take advantage of how can you make more money or do more business or have collaborations with people on that platform mm -hmm. just imagine the the kind of opportunity that linkedin has created you know where you have professionals not that you cannot start your own LinkedIn account and mm. call it a name that you want. It's good, but I'm saying that it pays you more. You have more edge. You have more money. You have more more access, more visibility. Okay. If you think about collaborating than thinking about competition. Mm. First, we don't even have the resources. We don't have the money. We don't have the manpower. We don't have the skill set. So, obviously, you're going to be spending more than an organized uh platform that has everything it takes in terms of backing them to be able to do more based right. on what is happening in the tech world so right. you always think my advice is that always think of collaboration always think about platforms that can activate that can make you visible that can make you have more access okay. to people in the marketplace to oh. do more for yourself. You're still watching Business Insight and Plus TV Africa, and we still have um, Samson Olatunde, the digital entrepreneur, founder, Knowledge Digest Africa, and we're looking at um, boosting sales with some um, digital marketing. In a moment, we'll come back with more. Don't go away. All right, welcome back to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. Samson has been giving us lots of useful insights. And as we begin to wrap up, he's going to even dish out um, some more. Samson, some people seem to believe that, uh, after all, I really don't have um, so much. My business is not so big. Why should I be exploring digital marketing? What would you say to them? 
So I would advise that um, they, they need to think about digital. They need to make use of the digital platform to do a lot of things because you can reach more people with little amount of money. That's number one. Number two, you can create a community that you can have access to or control over. Or you can even jump into an existing community that you can leverage on to even make more money for yourself and make your brand visible. So digital is almost everything. I, I use the word almost everything because at the click of the mouse, if you know what you need to do, you know where you need to go, you know how you, are, you can package yourself and present your content appropriately to people. There are people who are hungry for information, hungry to want to buy, do impulse buying. They are ready to consume whatever you're presenting to them. Mm. It's like a market where you have, consum uh, you have people that want to consume a lot of information. So it is how you present it. And I always tell people, you, you, you make it of what we call the three house. The right market, the right timing, and the right messaging. Mm. I can have I can have the right message, but if I don't target the right timing, many people are not going to see my message. And if I go, don't go and look for where those people are, the right market, it means that my message will be useless, even though I understand the timing. So there's a time for you to post on the internet. Mm. There's a time for you to make an offer known to people just like f f uh, black friday is like mm. the noise everywhere if you jump into it i know how to present your messaging to the right marketing at the right timing which is the black friday you're going to make massive series so what I, I would always leave with uh, audience who are listening is that digital is something that you should not joke with mm. and I'll, I'll tie it around the fact that you should think about building a subscription based money making continually for yourself How does that work? when it comes to digital so i can decide to start something mm. and i grow it over time with numbers so i start a campaign but i grow it into a community and then people begin to invite people so you can see you have facebook group you have telegram group you have instagram group you have social media group and um, mm. you, you have a um, whatsapp group mm. right so I can create what we call a subscription-based kind of platform because that's where you make more money. How do you do that? First, be determined to give valuable information to people continually. You can target the next three months, six months. You're just educating people within your niche market. Mm. Now, people begin to see it and recognize that you're an expert, an authority. And then you will create a list, a, a, a platform where people can always jump in and put in their information to get into the community. So you will make the community, it will be free, but you they have to all sign up now as they're signing up all you need is their name phone number and email name phone number email and location mm. you want to know where people are coming from so that like i know how to target more people within that region to get into your community why do you need the phone number because you want to use the phone number as an access to market to them via phone xms whatsapp telegram and all of that mm. why do you need an email because you want to use that to do email marketing so it means that maybe i do a, a a a survey of a product maybe an health product and i see that many people are interested even though i don't have the product it means i can make money from my community yeah. what that means is that all i have to do is look for somebody that has health product and come present it to my community and i make money because i would have signed a contract of whatever percentage that i would get from every sale yeah. now what you have done indirectly is that you have built what we call a subscription based way mm -hmm. of making money continually but you are you're indirectly or directly building a community of affecting people within your field mm -hmm. but you are also making more money within that community some people call it membership sites yes. where you say you know what if you get in here for the next 12 months you get access to information True. and people begin to subscribe just like you have dstv you know yes. it's a monthly subscription kind of thing you can keep making money forever what they did was to create a product but create a subscription kind of opportunity mm -hmm. around the product they can tell you mm -hmm. you know what if you pay in three months ahead these are packages you are going to enjoy so you mm -hmm. create also packages that will make people want to pay one year ahead three months ahead six months ahead or okay. one month mm -hmm. all you're just doing is that you have created a platform look for solution based kind of uh, platform that you have created mm. look for product line of people that you can do what we call affiliate marketing with i can bring a product and sell to 1000 people 2000 people in my community but i always charge this amount and then right. you create what we call a money funnel opportunity for yourself <laughs> very very interesting something but uh, lastly just in 30 seconds uh, another scenario i'm trying to paint right now still on the whole black friday uh thingy and all of that 
For instance, uh, I am really small. I have a, a small um, salon, a beauty salon, and uh, the sort of marketing that I do digitally uh, through my uh, WhatsApp group and maybe Facebook friends I have on Facebook, I show some of the things I've done. How do I explore that? And how do I? How can I get sales for Black Friday? What would? What should I do differently? Because I'm not like saying that uh, I'll give you one food with one free. What can I do differently? So it's simple, it's simple. I mean, so you can decide to create different packages okay. for people. Mm. Now you have existing people. Some of them know you. Yes. Some of them can use their influence of their friends within mm. their network to also promote what you're doing yeah. so strike a deal with people that already know you tell mm. them if you bring somebody i give you access for a free washing of your hair cool. tell them you know what if the, you can use this copion and you get 10 people you come free and i'm going to give you an attachment now all you're doing is mm. simple you know people always drive around or always get interested when they see value free when they see free breeze when mm -hmm. they see things so do what we call a giveaway right, that you, will Samson. tie it around the opportunity that you want to all right. achieve thank you so much Samson, for your time and all of um, the useful insights that you have shared thank today and i'm sure a lot of people are going to blow in quotes uh, during this and black friday deal well, thank you so much all right Samson olatunde is a digital entrepreneur and he's the founder of knowledge digest africa and he has joined us today to make uh give useful insight on how you can actually boost sales through digital marketing that's the size of the show for this week. I am Justin Akadone. Many thanks for watching.